Bitcoin did a complete reversal in its price after the research firm Matrix Port report picked several critical shortcomings, which it believes would hinder the process of legitimizing the grand old virtual digital assets, popularly known as cryptocurrency. Hello and welcome to 3 Dotto TV. I'm your host, Vishakha Thakur. As we discuss this report finding, we are just a few hours away from the SEC Chair Gary Gensler probably giving away his decision on several spot Bitcoin exchange-traded funds applications pending with the US markets regulator. Well, his decision will seal the fate of not just Bitcoin, but many institutional investors and several other projects who have pinned their hope on its passage and generating returns on money invested. Well, a lot of money is at stake here. For instance, we have witnessed several institutional investors have lined up investment vehicles in the form of ETFs to attract large institutional investor money waiting to join the bandwagon. Cryptocurrency investment products have garnered a total investment of $2.2 billion in 2023, according to CoinShares. The point of reference here is, will this dream run continue in 2024 as well? If we get into the details of 2023, Bitcoin alone managed to garner over $1.9 billion, representing 86% of the total fund inflows. Solana's sole recorded inflows worth $167 million. Binance's BNB bugged the overall trend, posting net outflows of $18 million. Bitcoin's fund saw the most significant inflows for any cryptocurrency in 2022 with $388 million, representing 47.5% of the $816 million total. Satoshi Nakamoto founded Bitcoin Price and looked all set to breach the $50,000 mark soon. Many analysts maintained a positive outlook as the ETF approval seemed a foregone conclusion. However, the Matrix Port report has undone the good work so far. It expects the SEC to reject all applications to list a spot Bitcoin ETF this month. As many as 13 applications including BlackRock, Fidelity, Valkyrie and others are pending for approval. The Matrix Port report cited that the current 5-person voting commissioner's leadership, critical for the ETF approval of the SEC, is dominated by Democrats. The note highlights, SEC Chair Gary Gensler is not embracing crypto in the US and it might even be a very long shot to expect that he would vote to approve Bitcoin spot ETFs. The skepticism over SEC rejection triggered a wave of selling, leading to a liquidation to the extent of 600 million. When markets turned jittery following the spot Bitcoin ETF rejection, sending Bitcoin 8% lower, pushing it near the $40,500 mark. The price of Bitcoin broke through $45,000 on Jan 2 for the first time in nearly two years. Lot will depend on the SEC's decision in the near term. Investors will be hoping SEC chair gives his stamp of approval. Well, that's all in this special segment. Keep watching 3 Auto TV for more such updates and do log on to our website www.3worstv.io or scan the QR code. This is me, Vishakha Thakur, signing off.